what do you do when your local municipality wants to put a road through your farm? You tell them engineers to put it over it. Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and I've got another console map tour of Chamberg Valley. This is a map by ER Shaba. It's version 1.0.0.0, and as you can see, it's only 244.94 megabytes. There's no additional mods that you need to be able to play this map, which is awesome. And today is March 10th. 2021. So let's go ahead and read the description here. It says the Chamberg Valley, a totally imaginary place in which you will be the owner of and lord of a farm. Wow. Where you will only have to worry about bringing your lands to the highest yield. You will have silos and warehouses to store all your crops and products to improve the performance of your land. In addition, you will have the challenge of giving life to three large animal stables located on the map. For this, you will have two for this, you will have with two factories owned. Okay, so you're going to have two factories also. Sweet! And then, which will make that work more productive. In addition, you will be able to enjoy two extra crops, among which we will have a totally new one, El Tomate, which after its harvest, you will be able to use it for your pig food. Apart from the cultivation of tomato, as a great novelty in this map, you will be able to enjoy dairy, sheep, yes, you read that correctly, sheep's milk, so treat them well. Awesome! All this can only be done in the new farmer game mode. Sweet! So we're going to have tomatoes, we're going to get to have sheep's milk, there's another crop, it's, yeah, it says two extra crops, one of them's tomatoes, so we get to find out what the other one is, awesome, and... It looks like we're going to have some pre-installed um, factories. So let's read the map contents. Pre-installed farm in new farmer mode. Three pre-installed animal stables, cows, pigs, and sheep. You're going to have three new pre-installed factories, production of pig food, production of um, mixed rotation for cows, TMR, and manufacture of fresh cheese. Whoa! Land to build your own farm and place your favorite buildings. Sweet. 50 fields of all sizes, and with the possibility of joining them, great. I love that. Eight forest areas of various sizes, winding terrain and great decoration, three silage bunkers, one biogas, one compost bunker. Oh, we're going to try that out, see if that's available here on console. Wide variety of points of sale for all your products. Product purchase points to take your fields to the highest performance. Sweet, so there's going to be points on the map that we get to buy our stuff instead of having to bring in those mods. Vehicles adapted for tomato cultivation, compatible for the factory pack, and seed factory from ER Shaba. All right, standard support for seasons, but do not run with the factory mods. Okay, support for DLC add-on straw harvest, and own terrain mapping support for precision farming. I love that. I love these custom maps. 100% recommended to play in new farmer mode to get the most out of this map. I completely agree. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into the gameplay now. All right, everybody. So first thing you're going to see when you're trying to get to your gameplay is this screen right here. We all know this. This is your loading screen. But if you look down here, it says Chamberg Valley 1 of 2. Welcome to Chamberg Valley. Enjoy a totally imaginary place created by and for the enjoyment of Farming Simulator 19. And then top left-hand corner, it says exclusive version for console. Top right, Straw Harvest Seasons 19. But if I go over to the right one time, now we have productions and two of two. And it says, if you want to play with factories, this is your map. Enjoy it. So two of the items that he mentioned, or the Shaba mentioned in the description, are only available in this version here. So you've got this version without the factories, this one with. So in my tour, I'm going to be showing you this version right here, and we'll explain which ones are not present in the other one. All right, let's jump into it. It's, um, it's kind of early in the morning, so I'm going to go and turn my light on here. But you're going to start off with your house right here. 
And if you come in right here, you're going to be able to use your sleep trigger. It's not necessarily over there. It's right just inside the door. And the next thing that you're going to notice, you've got some logs right here. And I tried this earlier, and you are going to be able to cut these up. So ER Shaba has definitely given us some uh, extra income potential right here. And there's other ones scattered around the map, too. You'll see them as we go around. Um, I want to go ahead and talk about the silos. So what you've got here, this is your main silo that you're going to be able to uh, use. It's going to take all your standard crops and the additional crops that we have, uh, which is chickpeas. I was able to figure that out. Chickpeas is the extra crop. This right here is going to be your potatoes and your sugar beets um, storage. Now, these little silos right here are really, really interesting. And this one is going to be mm, lime. Yeah, this is your lime one right here and as we come around over to the other side we have this one which is going to be seeds and then there's another one on the other side that's fertilizer and they're all dry fertilizers or, or uh, dry fertilizer over there um, this right here is going to be your hay now something interesting about this is you actually have to turn it on so you're going to hit this switch right here if I do this you're going to be able to enter the vehicle and if you hit your trigger right here, the right trigger, it's going to be able to start engine. So when you do that, then you can hear it. It's going to start up. You're going to be able to put in. It's going to collect everything for you. And out the other side, it's going to be able to um, give you your hay back. There is another one on the other side of the farm that is straw, and it works the exact same way. Um, as we come through here, you can see lots of storage opportunities, tons of places. None of these are bunker silos, um, but there's still tons of places to be able to put equipment at um, we keep coming around here and you've actually got another one here and then this area here right here is some um, internal storage it's really cool when you open it up you've got your three starting tractors in here you've got the case the voucher and the old fiat so really really awesome there You're gonna be able to come around over here you gotta wait let's see turn our light back on you got a little loading ramp right here. You can back a trailer into there, help load up a little bit easier. You've got the front loader here. Um, this is probably going to go best on the, uh, maybe the case, maybe the voucher. I think either one I'm going to work fine on. This right here is actually fuel. And you've got a trailer here that's going to hold some pretty loud truck. Going to hold some stuff for you. This tank is actually empty. And actually all of your silos around here that hold your... Um, minerals or your um, you know the fertilizer lime things like that are gonna be empty now you've also got some other KUHN equipment sitting right here so that's pretty cool and like I said none of these are um, bunker silos at all and then this right here this is gonna be your fertilizer let's look at it yeah it's a little bit rougher shape you can see that this texture is for fertilizer and the more liking like sand is gonna be your lime um, you've also got an old bison right here pretty worn out but the good news is your shops right here to be able to uh, fix it and if we make our way down to the lower section of the farm another storage opportunity right there and come around here this is your straw point and then this is going to be sugar cane and tomatoes y'all we have tomatoes in game absolutely awesome so I'm gonna run back up here and we're gonna start going around and looking at some of the oh one other thing that I want to tell you right now is the slot count so slot count on this map whenever you start and you start on the the mode that I'm on right now that has the uh, factories already put in place it is gonna be 855 slots alright um, that's new farmer if you start on the version that does not have the factories um, it's 800 slots and if you start on start from scratch with the factories, um, it's 498, and farm manager also on that with the factories 498, and the version that does not have the factory start from scratch for farm manager is 443. So let's go ahead and pull up our uh, uh, menu, the garage menu here. I'll go ahead and come down here, get away from those cars, so you guys can hear me a little better. So if we go into the garage, you can see, like I said, the Fiat, the case. And we should have a voucher too. There it is. And then the Super Bison, we've got a Strotman trailer. We've got the header. These are the three pieces of the KUHN equipment. We've got a loading wagon, the stole front loader. 
We have a bucket, front weight, and the special tank for liquids. Now it's only gonna hold milk, water, um, sheep's milk, fuel, and I think biodiesel. I think what that that's what that other symbol is. Um, then you get your hay, your straw. Um, now the perimeter fencing on all the farms, this one is really, really cool. If there's some maps that we have that you can get rid of like all the hedges or you can get rid of um, you know, different things that are causing you problems. And if you see the picture there, the top one shows barbed wire fencing, the bottom one does not. So it's actually gonna get rid of everything all the way around. So like if we come back out over here, uh, we should be able to see a, a farm really, really quickly. So this fence right here, um, we don't own this, but if you sell that, it's gonna sell it and cross the entire map, everything. Um, so let's come back in here and make sure there's nothing else here. Yeah, that is the last thing. Now, as far as um, animal pens and things like that, um, there's nothing special. These are the ones that I have loaded in because I was trying some things out. So there's nothing extra that they put in here for the animal pens. Um, and I don't have the other mods, uh, the factories and stuff either. But the interesting thing that I noticed there is this map comes with the two mods already installed the factories um, but you're not able to place more of them down so if you want to like start from scratch and like build up this thing using all those factories you're gonna have to use the other mods they're not gonna be already in here now on the silo the same thing goes here you don't have access to those other hay um, hay lofts right so be careful on that I don't think there's anything here um, also about the farmhouse that's only gonna show up in new farmer um, it's not going to show up in manager or um, start from scratch. And this right here is actually a storage tank for digestate and slurry. You're going to put it in right here and you're going to take it out down over there. So that's pretty awesome. They give you that. Even though you don't have anything here at the farm, you'd have to go to another animal place, um, buy another animal pen to be able to get it. And speaking of buying, let's take a look at the map. So here's the map, and what you're going to start with is right here, field 30, and the double section, I mean, triple section of the farm really is what it is. And you're going to see you've got your silo and this. It's not going to show you any of the other storage options that you have, like for your minerals, your lime. Um, you don't have anywhere on this farm to store any of your liquid fertilizers or herbicide. So be cautious about that, but you can pick those up around the map. There are some really, really cool spots, and we'll get into that as we go around. So another thing that I want to tell you about since we're zoomed in here is the road structure. It is incredibly confusing. Like if you want to get down here to the garden market, you actually have to come this way and then up and then you're going to go under this road again and then you have to go under this road. So where we started the tour at was right in here. There's another overpass over here. So to be able to get to it from your main farm, you actually have to come around here and then go under, under and then turn and go under again. Now you can cut through this field right here. There's an uh, entrance on both sides. So you can cut through like that, but like to get up over here, it, it's really confusing because you gotta go up out of your farm. So if you're in your farm, you've gotta kind of come up this main road by your house and then turn and go up this way. And they're all this way. I mean, this is a big overpass right here and you've got a tunnel. So if you wanna go down here to the West Cooperative, you've gotta figure out how to get on this road over here you can't get to it easily from right here so you either have to take this side road right here wind around or you have to go all the way around to be able to get to that west cooperative um you know and then kind of getting up here it's kind of the same thing um there's uh this stuff over here is pretty pretty okay you've got another overpass here though so be cautious about that and there's another one down here so it looks like you're going to be able to get off this road here and go around. Um, but man, there's just so many overpasses, underpasses, trying to keep track of where you're at and where you got to go. Um, definitely study the map a little bit or maybe think about getting rid of those fences um, and then kind of create your own little side paths and things through other people's <laughs> other people's farms. Um, it's kind of what you have to do to be able to, uh, to get around on this map. Now, as you can see also, you've got big spots like this where there's nothing here right now. And that's just a big open uh, flat area. So you've got multiple ones scattered all around here. And what these are for is if you're using the other mods 
you're going to be able to place them on those uh, pads really, really easily. Um, you know, you got like the the biogas plant. If we want to purchase it, it's going to be two hundred forty eight thousand, almost two forty nine thousand. You know, and if we look at some of the field prices, uh, four hundred eighty seven thousand for this one. That one's a pretty big one. You got some up here that are all together, and they're almost nine hundred thousand and change. Um, you know, five forty eight, seven twelve. If we get into some of the smaller ones, so let's look like over here, 48. Well, that actually comes with the biogas plant. So that's a bonus. Um, 46 is like 306. What about here? Can we do that? No, 391, 334. That's not bad. You know, 258. That might be the cheapest one by itself. So be prepared to uh, spend a little bit of money um, if you're wanting to get some land around here. So that's going to be it on the map and everything like that um actually let me tell you one more thing if you start on this mode and you have the factories you're going to have this icon here and you're going to have this icon over here this one is actually a pig food um factory and this one up here is a tmr factory so really really cool and then this guy up here is actually a uh a lime mine so you're gonna be able to come up here use a front loader and collect your lime putting it up into a trailer and then you can take it back and store it down in your farm so you've got a tip point there at the farm so you're gonna be able to unload directly into your um, silo which is really really awesome um, there's only one farm on here um, that you start with as the option now it looks like there might be another something over here that you might be able to uh, work with and there's nothing up here this is all that but like this little area here so we're gonna check out those couple farms also to see what's going on it looks like yeah that's a cooperative station there and that's the shop so we're gonna check out those other two this one here and this one here to see if there's any other silos scattered around that we have access to um like i said there are other places around so like down here at the garden center you're gonna be able to buy some products which is really really cool um there should be another one up up over here i'm hoping um i haven't looked at the whole map yet i just kind of did the basic stuff to start off with um looks like you might have some stuff right here that you could purchase too so as we go around we'll take and look at those places and see what all we have so let's go ahead and jump into the first location and that is actually going to be down here at the garden market all right everybody we are down here at the garden market now and as you can see it's uh it's got some hours on it you're only going to be able to get in here from 7 until 9 7 a.m till 9 p.m or 700 to 2100 um so keep that in mind if you're starting really really early in the morning not going to be able to get in here the gates are closed and there's no way to open them up so this tank right here what it is is you've got slurry and digestate and it's going to come out of that tube right there in the middle and if you work your way around over here this is going to be your seeds pretty cool um pull up over here dump them in and you're good to go now this right here this tank looks very very familiar to the one that you have over on your main farm but this is actually going to be liquid fertilizer and uh, herbicide are going to be in here. That's it. There's no fuel in here at all. And if we come through right here, underneath this is going to be lime. So fill this up and run it back over to your farm if you want to keep it closer. And then this one right here is going to be your mineral fertilizer. So if you see any yellow tanks around the map, that's what they're going to be is your mineral fertilizer. The green tanks are going to be your lime and your white tanks are your seeds i don't know why they chose those colors um, because to me lime should be white but it's all good those are the colors they chose and like i said your um light colored green tanks are going to be the um liquid fertilizer and herbicide so that's the first place here like i said it's very kind of confusing the first time to uh, get over here what i did is i ran right through here I went up to the edge of those tree lines over there. There's a road that takes you back to your main farm. And once again, that's coming right through here along the edge. And then I ran up this road right here back up to the main farm. So, and I'm sorry about the glitchiness there. And my controller is really messing up and the other one's dead right now. So 
sorry for uh, the skipping around and stuff on the the screen so next what we're gonna do is run over here to the animal dealer and the slaughterhouse it's really really cool what's going on over here all right everybody here we are at the animal dealer and as you can see it has hours on it to the same 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. and when you come in here you're gonna see over here on the left this is gonna be your animal dealer building and you're gonna have to come through this right here you're gonna be able to open this up and when you get right here this is where your dialog box is gonna be at so everything just like normal there directly across from that is a really really cool spot and if you look on the map it says this is the slaughter house <laughs> not sure why um, because it's actually buy points so this over here is gonna be pig food and this is TMR and the way you're gonna get it is you pull your trailer underneath these conveyor belts and load up pretty simple um, and you can get to this from the north uh, exit of your farm. So if you're on the overpass that I started on the video where I was talking about going over your farm That overpass right there you follow the road around and that brings you here So what we're gonna do is actually go up this road now and This next area right here that we want to go to the West Cooperative You can't actually get there easily from here. You can take this side road going down through here and then get down to it um, But we're actually gonna stop here at this water spot first and then we'll come on down here. So I will see you guys over there at the uh, water spot. And here we are, right here. It's not really a water tower, it's just a reservoir that's really, really cool. Um, you're gonna be able to pull your tanker up anywhere right in here and be able to fill up, no problem at all. And like I said, we'll, uh, we're gonna go down and I'll show you this overpass, what I mean. There's, oh, also there's a bunker silo right here that you're gonna be able to use. So if I turn on the menu, you can see right here, chaff and compacting. Um, it's only one. They give you some mats here and got a little bit of a road to be able to go down. And like I said, this is the, the one road that you could take right here to be able to get to where we wanna go. And I'll go back over this way and you can see the overpass. There is no easy way to get down to that road. Um, some of the other ones, it's fairly easy to be able to get down, but this is all um, covered by rocks pretty pretty good um, you might be able to get to it going around this way there's a little field here that you can get into but then you have to uh, go through another field to be able to get down to an exit down over there so you know just explore these roads a little bit and uh, figure out what's best as you can see it's right down over there so if you feel like cutting through a couple um, fields have at it if not um, you're going to take one of the other roads. But we're going to that building right over there now, so I will see you guys there. All right, so here we are at the West Cooperative, and as you can see, it has time limits to 7 to 9 p.m. And when you come in here, it's going to be around over here, and this is where you're just going to sell all of your goods at. Now, if we take a look here at the menu and see what all it takes, we'll come down here to the West Cooperative, and it takes all your base game stuff, Oh, and also check out the icons at the top. These things are awesome. I love it a lot more. Uh, I don't know. I wish these were available all the time. I wish there was a mod we could get that would just change them or the modders would throw these things in here because it's so cool to see. Um, it's going to take your chickpeas also. So that's what that icon is up there between the two reds. The one on the left is herbicide and the one on the right is tomatoes. And the one in the middle is chickpeas. So it's going to take all your base game stuff and chickpeas. So that's pretty cool. There's a lot of other sale points that we're going to get to around that take some of the other stuff. Not everything takes everything, um, but um, they're really kind of spread out. So that's this. And now we're going to head over to this area right in here. And then we're going to come across to the pig farm. So um, this actually isn't, this is something I put in, uh, but we're going to be going to this area right here on the map, just south of the pig farm. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so what we have here are a couple couple bunkers, and we also have a loading ramp right here. So pretty cool, you pull your trailer over there, and you're gonna be able to drive up here and load up. Um, that way you don't have to use like the milling machine or have it kind of setting out here. But the interesting thing is, um, these aren't bunker silos for chaff and silage. 
If we pull in here, you can see that it actually says manure, all right, and compacting on the manure. So what we're going to do is go ahead and unload this right here into here. So we're going to spread this out a little bit. And as you can see, it's filling up. It's got a little bit of compacting already, but have you guys ever seen manure going into one of these before? Ooh, actually, I need to keep this going. So what this is going to do is actually turn into compost for you. So this is the first time that I've seen how to do it a little bit easier. Um, I know it says it's available on a couple other maps, but I don't know if console actually got it. But I'm on PS4 right now, y'all, and we are compacting manure to make compost. So you're going to do the exact same thing. You're just going to keep running this over all the way till it gets to 100%. You're going to cover it up like a standard bunker silo, and then you will be able to let it ferment and then collect it just like you would um, your um, um, silage once it's uh, from chaff into silage. So just keep doing this back and forth, obviously just like everything else. I just want to see what it looks like if it's a different color or or what. I'm assuming it's probably going to be white. But um, let me finish this here and whenever we uh, are ready to cover it, I'll bring you guys back and we'll, we'll take a look at it. Alright, so there we go. Everything is completely compacted 100%. If I hit L3 now, it's going to say blanket silo. There we go. And it's going to look just like normal. So if you've got this one here, um, and that's a cool texture on that too. Look at that. That is really, really cool. All right, um, if we want to look at price of this area, it's not that bad. It's uh, 53059 so pretty inexpensive to be able to make compost. Um, I don't know exactly what you're going to be able to do with the compost yet. I'm kind of assuming one of the factories you'll be able to do something with it or maybe spread it out as a fertilizer. Um, I picked this area up right here also for 37500 and this is my silo I put on here to be able to get manure. So disregard that that's not available on the map it's one of the uh, multi-fill points so let's run right over here and look at the pigs so yes right through the trees it's a little bit of a jump coming down but this right here is going to be where your pigs are at so it looks like everything is standard here you're going to have your water there you're going to have food here um, you're going to be able to uh, put your straw in over there. And it looks like right here. What's... Slurry's there. I wonder if manure is going to populate right there. Because I can't get the animal dialogue box to come up. Oh, I don't own it yet. That's right. Hold on. Let me go purchase this really quickly. I want to show you guys about this too. Um, you purchase this. Bye. There we go. Now let's go try this out. Here we go. So this is the animal dialogue box. Perfect. So where is manure going to go? I don't see a spot for it yet. Let's go check and see if it's over here on the other side. It might pile up here. Um, so yeah, just be, be on the lookout for that. Looks like you got water right here too. Awesome. Now, the one thing about this is if you go to sell this now, um, it's not going to let you. So if I click on this and I want to sell, right here, boom, I've got to be able to get rid of the pig pen. Now, the only problem with that is if you come in here to your animal pens, we do not have an option for, like I said, these are the other ones that I have. This is not it. This is one that I have installed just to see spaces. Um, but we don't actually have this available right now. But if we go to garage, we can see this is what it looks like. Large pig enclosure, and it's a mod. So it looks the same from the picture. I don't know if it actually functions the same. It looks like it's been reversed. Yeah, so it looks like it's a custom one just based on this picture right here. So be very uh, mindful of that. Um, once you sell it, you're not going to be able to get this exact same pin back. So, um, I want to show you this right over here too. It's a really, really cool. Let's see if I can get up here. I'm going to have to come over here to the corner to do it on foot. But 
right here is one of these pads that I was telling you about. Um, it looks like you could put a factory here pretty easily. If you look at the PDA over in this area over here, it looks like it had some silos put in. Um, I obviously don't see anything and I don't know why. There's no required mods or anything like that. So I'm not 100% sure. And if we come over here to the gate, we'll be able to open it up. And there's a sign on it, but it doesn't say anything about hours. All right, it just says like restricted people. Um, and then if you come over here, there is another one. And I'm gonna try and hop this fence. There we go. So a smaller one right here too, that if you wanted to put something in, you could pretty easy. And if we look to see how much price is on these, these right here are 15,000 and 24, almost 25,000. So pretty inexpensive. And the same thing applies here. It's a gate. It'll open any time for you. There's no time on it at all. All right, so next, we're gonna come right across the street over here. And this is gonna be the TMR facility. Um, this is where you're gonna be able to make TMR. Um, you are gonna need diesel to put in here. Um, diesel's not necessarily cheap, um, but if you're making it, then you could just bring it right over here and use it in your TMR facility. This is gonna be your tip-in point right here to be able to uh, put in your uh, hay, straw, and grass for your TMR. And the cool thing about this place is once you turn it on and you get it going and you're making things, your pallets are gonna show up right here. And if you've never uh, used one of these before, this is where you're actually gonna turn it on at. So you have to own it first, and then you're gonna come over here, uh, get inside it, turn it on, and then it's active. And like I said, your pallets are gonna show up there. And then over here, you're gonna get compost. So you've got a couple different ways to be able to get compost on this map. So that's this. Let's take a look and see how much it costs. So it's going to cost you uh, 16120 for this one. Um, this is the lime mine again that you're going to be able to come up here and uh, get lime out of. You must own it, and it's going to cost you 223000 So if you're using a lot of lime, um, it should pay for itself. Um, and I mean a lot of lime. But... I don't know, maybe you can get a government subsidy to help you pay for it, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm not really going to show you this pad here because it's going to look very, very similar to the other ones. Um, but where we're going to next is going to be up here in this area. A lot of sale points up here, a lot of different stuff going on that is uh, pretty important to the map. So I will see you guys over there. So we actually took a little detour, and this is another one of those pads right here that I was telling you about. On the PDA, it looks like it's got some stuff on it. It doesn't, so you're gonna be able to build whatever you want here. Um, but it, I did say that I was gonna talk about it earlier. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this side road here up to the other main area. So we're gonna see what these side roads look like a little bit. Should be interesting. I'm gonna do it from the inside just so you guys can see what the terrain looks like a little bit. Looks like a pretty decent little road. Um, doesn't look too tricky unless you've got like a huge load on here um, kind of windy so I don't think really long trailers would be good on this but it's not too bad not too bad at all it's just gonna take a little bit to get up here um, but it is a another way to get up here instead of having to go all the way up to the corner of the map and then over so man, I'm really liking this it's cool being able to drive through the woods um, so yeah we're uh, we're almost up there, and the first place that we're going to go to is actually a bale uh, sale point. Um, maybe not necessarily bales, but um, it's going to take a lot of um, your straws and grass and hay and things like that. And actually, it's not as close as I thought it was, but this is going to be the road that it comes out on. So we'll get back to the other view. And yeah, it's going to be just up here on the left-hand side. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a... Uh, I don't know, uh, community type stuff up here. So we're gonna turn in right here to the actual facility. Got a little bit of a storage opportunity there. Ooh, I wonder if these logs, if you're gonna be able to get them. Does it say it's too heavy? It does. So it looks like you've got some logs here too that you could get. Um, cost on this is part of the peripheral. So expensive. Um, I don't know, you might be able to do something with that. Move them somewhere else. 
but this is going to be all your stuff right in through here. Like I said, silage, grass, hay, and straw it looks like. So we'll look on the map. This is the old haystack. And if we come over here, we can see right here, the next to the bottom one, it's going to take um, silage and straw, actually. That's it. Wow. Even though it's got the other ones listed, you're not actually going to be able to drop them off here. Okay. So just straw and silage. Wow. Does any place take grass or hay? No place right now takes that. So be mindful of that if you're wanting to do grass work and hay. Very interesting. I guess if you're running the factories, then you'll be all right. <clears throat> so we're going to keep going around. The next place is going to be a fuel station, petrol station, if you, if you will, um, up here on the left-hand side gonna be able to come in here and get gas get a fill up for you uh, no storage opportunities here and then right across the street is gonna be a uh, looks like an animal facility pretty sweet it doesn't show up on the map I wonder what happens if we buy it so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna buy this piece of property right here Buy. perfect oh so sheep show up awesome and if we look here in our garage we're gonna see that it's not a place that we can sell so these are built in you are not gonna have to sell off the enclosure and then sell the property so that's really cool so sheep already built in um, not sure how many we can get um, mm, yeah but you are going to be able to get milk here. I forgot about that. You are going to be able to get milk. And you should be able to get slurry from them. And is this the buy point? Nope. This is probably going to be wool or manure. What's right here? This is probably going to be the milk. Yeah. Um, slurry is there. Water is going to be there. Food is going to be over here. And this is where you uh, buy them at, right here. So, yeah, if you guys end up using this, let me let us all know uh, where the manure... I don't know if manure actually... I think it's only slurry, and I bet that's your wool. So, um, yeah, that's here. Awesome. So let's get out of this, and we're going to keep on going down and around to a couple more spots and it looks like we have a cow barn down there too we'll try and get to that here in a minute and I am not going out the exit and be careful of the traffic it does not slow down or stop it pins your trailer and your tractor in between each other it is a really really big mess I know I'm not going on this the right way but I'm just going right over it see that it didn't even slow down so this right here once again you're cooperative this is a north cooperative and we'll go to this one on the right hand side first you can see the gates are already open for me perfect and the cell point is actually way back here in the back you gotta come all the way through up onto here this is your cell point looks like you're gonna be able to get some of your uh, other items here too if you'd like to awesome I wonder if that's lime. Let's try and pull underneath there. Be awesome if it is. Yep, start filling. Lime. Perfect. So it looks like you have lime and looks like you have the green one. We'll go ahead and check what this blue one is too. This is the first time I've seen the blue one. So blue is fertilizer over here. So I bet this other one is going to be seeds. But let's just confirm. So it looks like they're different colors in different places. So take what I said earlier at the garden center um, as only being for the garden center. And seeds. Yep. Okay. So fertilizer is definitely different. Your lime looks a little bit different over here. And then we also have these two points right here. This first one is going to be manure. And your second one is going to be compost 
So, you don't have to make it to be able to use it. They've got two spots set up there for you. And we're going to come right across over here to this point. And this is another cell point right here. So let's see what all is here. So this is Ferdeberg. We're going to come down here. So it looks like it's going to take... Um, is that chaff maybe? Yeah, maybe chaff. I don't know what else that would be, y'all. Hmm. And it's going to take manure. If anybody knows what that first symbol is, definitely let me know. And comp Ooh, hold on a second. Hold on. It takes compost. So I'm curious. Can we just run over there and buy a bunch of it? And then bring it over here and deliver it? And see what the difference is? Alright, we're going to do a little test. See how this works out. So we know it takes compost. So right here. Let's see how much a trailer gets us. We're going to fill this thing up. It should be pretty quick. Well, or not. Alright, we got about 3000 So $1,400 on 3,100 liters. So 1404 And if we come back over here, I got a feeling we're going to make some money. Alright, so right here... Um, temp side back. Close cover. Do I have to be in the right one? It did say compost, right? Yes, it says compost. Why can I not sell? Well, that's interesting. Do I have to be backed into one of these spots? Oops. I can't back up, y'all. I mean, I should get a trigger. I'm here. I don't know. But it looks like over here is going to be a cell point for some digestate and slurry. That's so weird, because I can't purchase this separate, right? I mean, this is yellow cell points. I do not know. Do not know why I cannot do that. All right, well, we're going to just... I don't even have the option to unload because I don't own the property. All right, well, we're just going to carry this compost around with us. Um, and we're going to go to a couple of the spots. Sorry for the delay there, everybody. I, I'm just trying to figure it out and see what's going on, but no idea. So we're going to come around over here. Hopefully miss this car. Yep, there we go. And come hit this tree. So we're actually going to run up on the property a little bit. And we're going to come right over here. So this right here looks like... What is this place? Oh, the dairy! Awesome! Perfect, so that's where you're going to drop off your milk. I'm um, assuming both milks are going to go there. Let's actually check that out. Um, dairy the Valley, so you have goat milk, or sheep milk, and regular milk. Awesome. So the next place looks like it's going to be across the street a little bit. Yeah, like right around this corner here. And this looks like it's going to be a sawmill, maybe? Mm, I don't know. The trigger's up here on the front. So let's see what this place is going to take. What is this place called? Mm, something distributor. All right. Um, local distributor. So sugar cane, um, sugar beets, potatoes, um, 
tomatoes. Ooh, tomatoes. So is this the only place that buys tomatoes? Yes, it is. So if you're doing tomatoes, this is the only place to be able to sell them at. And then if we come back across, that's it. So root crop, tomato, and sugarcane. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is try and get over to this other cow uh, building that's up over there. And I will see you guys when I'm there. All right, so here we are. I was able to just get back out on the main road and come around over here. So it looks like right here you're going to have a bunker. Awesome. And how do you get over? Sorry about all the trees, everybody. So this looks like all it is. It's not actually a cow farm. It just looks like it's a, a bunker with maybe a shed here. You're going to be able to put some stuff into. Okay. So pretty simple. Um, it comes with by itself for 26,000. Pretty cool. Or 24, six. All right. So next where we're going is going to be right here. And this is going to be the uh, pig food plant. So I will see you guys down there. It should be easy. Just follow this main road. So this factory that's right here is actually in a really, really good spot because as you can see, there's an overpass, but if you come right through here and then you can go out the side right here and get up on that. So you can use this as a shortcut either way, uh, but we're going to turn this off again. And as you can see, this is going to be your uh, pig food uh, location to be able to make it. Same thing. You're going to turn it on over here. That's where your stuff's going to come out at. Now, this is going to be your tip in point. Now on this one, I'm actually not sure um, if you're going to have compost. I wouldn't see why you wouldn't, um, but it was a little bit farther away for me to test things out. So you're going to have fuel right there. And that's it um, here at this spot. So we'll look on the map here again. And I have to say that if you want to get to the BGA or David the Old Farmer, you've got two options. One, come all the way down here to the bottom side of the map, or take this nice windy road up the side of the mountain. And it is it is a haul to get up there. So I will not be taking the tractor up here. What we're going to do is just teleport up here, take a look at these two real quick. We'll jump back down here, take a look at the cows, and then sugar. So we'll hit all these really quickly uh, just by teleporting. So I will see you guys at the BGA. And this is what it looks like whenever you get here. You're going to have a little bit of storage opportunity over here. You've got a scale that doesn't work. It's just for decoration only. And you come up this side here where you see the bunkers at. And you're going to have three really nice bunkers to be able to use. Um, your uh, product is going to go in here. Um, let's buy this thing real quick and see if anything shows up on the map or on the uh, ground. So like I said, this is 249,000. So there we go. And I still don't see anything show up on the map. So I'm assuming everything's going to have to go inside. Um, you might be able to get away with it right there. Um, your digestate is going to come out here. So awesome. And now what we're going to do is try and get over to the farmer's place. And you're going to have to get there by coming back out this way and going out on the opposite side of this little pad right here. And you're going to wind your way around on this nice little road up here on top of the mountain. And while we're over here, I want to show you guys this view. It is absolutely awesome. As long as you can get a spot that doesn't have a tree, <laughs> you're good. Um, so yeah, like right here, this is absolutely beautiful let me go ahead and turn everything off so you guys can get the full picture check that out that is incredible absolutely incredible overlooking the cows so if you've got cows you're gonna be able to see them but this place right here like i said is gonna be the uh, the farmer and this is where you're gonna be able to sell that so he's gonna take your hay and he's gonna take your straw and that's going to be it. Um, you do have a option to be able to put some equipment here if you'd like to. But that's everything up here. So now we're going to run down the hill very carefully um, to the cow barn down here. And you start off right here 
with a nice bunker silo. Really cool. So I'll turn my menu back on. There we go. You can see it's regular. And we're going to hop over. So this is what the cow place looks like. Pretty nice and big. Got a lot of room here if you wanted to add some more stuff to it. Let's actually go ahead and uh, purchase this. There we go. So what have we got? We're going to go check that out too. Um, so yeah, this is the cows. Once again, this is going to be your water spot. Right here. This is going to be your animal dialogue. We're going to be able to get them at. X out of that. Um, doors do not open. Okay, so food. Um, let's see. What's here? This is probably going to be your slurry. This door does not open. All right. I do not see a place for milk. Very interesting. And we're going to run over here across the street and check this place out. So what is this one? Very interesting. All right. So we own it too. What? No way. Hold on. Y'all. You own both sides. Okay. I don't feel so silly for not being able to know. This is your milking parlor right here. Check that out. So this is where you're going to get your milk. And right there is going to be your manure. Whoa. I just hope the cows don't go from side to side and impede traffic. This is cool. Nice touch. Very nice touch. And you've got another spot here for uh, some real basic, simple uh, equipment. Or maybe if you need to put a couple bales in here, you could maybe do that too. Um, that's one thing that I don't always talk about is bale storage. Um, but if you're playing this on seasons, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to uh, put some underneath there. All right, so now we are going to run up the hill to this building up here and take a look at the sugar place. So I will see you guys when we are up there. All right, so right now we are at the sugar industry. And let's uh, go ahead and run in here. As you can see, seven to nine again. So what we have here is a little bit of storage. We're gonna come around. And it looks like you're gonna have sale points for sugar beets and sugar cane. Now, I am not sure if you're gonna be able to get anything out of here. Um, I don't know why you would need to buy those things at the same place you sell them at. So, yeah, if you can, definitely somebody throw it in there. Um, around back, there's nothing back here. So that's it. Just a couple spots to sell some things at. What's this say? No idea. All right, so let's look at the map again. And what we're going to do now is we're going to come around over here and check out what this yellow dot is and then the Southern Cooperative. So let's actually run to the Southern Cooperative first. All right, and here we are, everybody. So it looks like it's going to be a sale point right here. Got some nice decorations around here. I don't think you're going to be able to get anything else out of here. I don't see it. Um, I don't see a trigger or anything like that. So let's uh, look at the this. Uh, so all your base game stuff and chickpeas and that's it and for those of you that don't know the icons at the top right now those are your extra factories that you can bring in here um er shop has got some great great factories um they're all available in the mod hub so go ahead and grab them if you like and now we're going to come out here and try and figure out how to get up over to the other side doesn't look like you're going to be able to do it by a vehicle but we're going to take a little detour right here cross over and then come up over here on this plateau and you guys can start to see what it is it's really cool there's a couple other maps that we have that you get to use a crane so here it is for sure um, 
sell wood perfect I'm guessing you need to drop it off in there though I don't know maybe you take it out of there hmm I'm gonna have to find that out real quick I'll be right back all right so I figured it out um that's as far down as it will go so you're not going to be able to get any more of those pieces out of down there and I don't think there's a good way that you're going to be able to get them up either um, unless maybe you grab a ladder and like put it down in there and then climb up and throw them um, but that could take some time I mean there's some decent logs down there but the way it works is you're going to take a piece of wood and by the way this piece of wood came from right over here on these logs sitting right here so you are able to uh, purchase the land and then be able to cut and what you have to do is put the wood inside here so you can see it over there on the edge now and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna sell and you can see I just made fifty dollars so if we come back over it's gone now so every piece of wood has to be down inside there I tried over on the other side I tried on this side and nothing was working now how do you get inside the vehicle the crane itself you right here so about right here you're gonna be able to get inside the vehicle and as you can see um, it's pretty I won't say complicated but they're left uh, left trigger right trigger and then uh, up and down or side to side is gonna do different things for you um, and then you hold both of them and you're gonna be able to open and close so if you've got your trailer over there you're gonna be able to unload it now this one does not spin there is no spin feature at all so this is the only way so the way that I recommend is you're gonna need to oh, let's see if we can get over there you're gonna need to have your vehicle lined up right over here and then you pull them off and drop them into that pit so the way that they are lined up right now um, isn't really in line with the way that you're going to be dropping these off um, unless you've got uh, a trailer or something that you can dump off to the side and then go in there you might be able to have that um, there are a couple side load ones but I think they're a little bit longer so or side unload but I think they're longer you're not going to be able to do that so if you want to use this that's going to be the way all right so where are we going now now we're going down here to the southern cooperative oh, we already went there all right let's stop at the fuel station fuel station in the shop all right I'll see you guys over there all right here is the second fuel station that we have pretty pretty simple and then right across here is the shop so let's see I don't see an actual trigger here to be able to work on your vehicles is it oh I see something in here so it looks like you're gonna have to come all the way in here so I wonder are you gonna need to put your vehicle here yeah I bet you are I bet right here and then it's gonna have some spots that you can store some equipment if you'd like to um, you got this over here too that looks like uh, another little spot you can store some stuff so pretty cool let's um let's lease a vehicle here here really really quickly and see um, where it's gonna come from so we're just gonna lease it real quick see where they pop up at boom right there all right so probably gonna start here go that way and if you have you might be able to get another row here not sure um, but yeah so let's hop in this guy we're gonna make our way around the rest of the map here really really quick